Hi guys, I'm Miranda Lumley and this is my final video for my um, practicum course. And this is um, my biggest challenge with the ISTE standards. And I feel like all of the standards are going to challenge me throughout my future. Um, and that's great because I want to make sure that I am doing my best to use all the pieces to make the best environment I can. Um, but I decided to focus on um, designer for educators um, 5A and it says use technology to create, adapt, and personalize learning um, so that you can foster independent learning and accommodate learner differences and needs. And so my biggest challenge for the role I want to pursue in the future is just to make sure that the technology I'm using with students or giving students to use accommodates their learning styles and needs. Um, I want to continue education um, to become an autism specialist. Um, and as with all students, not just students with um, disabilities or special needs, but all students, um, everyone has differences in their learning needs and the experiences that they have that help them um, to learn independently. And so um, every student's going to need to be challenged and given the opportunity to use technology um, in the classroom in ways that help them gain new knowledge. And so for me, the future challenge is going to be to ensure that my use of technology in the classroom with students is personal um, by allowing choice in the way that students gain and show their understanding of the new content. And so um, this could be allowing students to create a video presentation or working collaboratively on a project. Um, this could be allowing students with verbal strengths to record um, work or answers and allowing students with visual strength to share ideas or videos that convey their learning. Um, this could be allowing students with written strength to create a presentation with Google Slides. Um, but my biggest challenge is just going to be to allow students to have this personalized learning experience within my classroom and not just my classroom, but to advocate for students to have that experience in all classrooms, um, all of their learning environments. And students don't have to have identical assignments or assessments, and that's something that that I struggle with anyways, um, but it's something that I want to make sure that I work for um, my students in the future, that um, there's more than one way for students to prove that um, they've learned something or that um, they know something. And technology is a great piece to help my students have personalized learning experiences. Um, my daughter, uh, Georgia, my, um, well, my kindergartner, um, she's a perfect example of this. Um, she had an assignment where she had to um, roll a dice or a die. And um, depending on what number she got, she had to record that letter to spell a word or something like this. And um, she became very frustrated because she kept rolling the same number. Um, and I thought, this is kind of silly. She shouldn't have to do... Um, or feel frustrated in trying to spell words. And a strength that she has is she loves to watch <laughs> those videos on YouTube where um, they open up surprise bags, the little kids' surprise bags or Easter eggs and share what's inside. And um, giving my daughter the opportunity to um, present on video, she loves to do that. And I thought, well, if she has to spell words, why can't I just have her present in a video and tell how to spell these words instead of being frustrated when she can't get a three to show up on the die. Um, there's more than one way for for students and kids to show that they know something or that they can um, come to the same learner outcome as their peers. Um, and so that's my biggest challenge is in the future, I want to make sure that um, I use technology to help kids get um, their learning done independently, and that it's a personalized learning experience for each of them. So um, thanks for watching. Congratulations to everyone. And um, thank you for your input too, and helping me um, realize the, the strengths and the challenges that I'm going to face in the future. So we'll see you soon.